वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इफ यू नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब आइकॉन टू गेट सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल क्लिक ऑन द बेल बटन टू गेट नोटिफाइड अबाउट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द को फैक्टर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी मस्ट नो व्हाट इज एन एंजाइम एन एंजाइम इज नथिंग बट एन ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल व्हिच एक्ट्स एज अ बायो कैटलिस्ट टू इंक्रीज द रेट ऑफ द रिएक्शन ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेसेस बाय डिक्रीजिंग द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी ऑफ दैट स्पेसिफिक प्रोसेसेस and this enzyme requires a specific chemical compound in order to be activated and that compound is called as a cofactor so a cofactor is nothing but an organic or an inorganic molecule which can activate an enzyme so if you see this combination here the apo enzyme that is the protein part of the enzyme that is the part of the enzyme which does not contain any other external group and contains only proteins and made up of polypeptide chains alone when this apo enzyme combines with this cofactor the cofactors are mostly non protein compounds when this combination occurs it produces an olo enzyme this olo enzyme is an active enzyme so whenever a cofactor combines with the inactive that is protein part of the enzyme it produces an active enzyme called as olo enzyme so now we are clear with what is cofactor let us discuss about the types and the examples of those types the cofactor is of two types that is organic cofactor and inorganic cofactor the organic cofactors are prosthetic group and coenzymes and the inorganic group of cofactors is the metal ions first of all let us discuss about the prosthetic group a prosthetic group is nothing but an organic compound which is tightly bound to the enzyme and thus activating that particular enzyme here we have an example for this prosthetic group that is eme group this eme group present in peroxidase and catalase enzyme is an example for prosthetic group if you see the structure of eme group it contains an fe3 plus ion surrounded by an porphyrin ring that is the eme group is nothing but an iron porphyrin complex this peroxidase or catalase enzyme helps in the conversion of hydrogen peroxide produced in our body to water and oxygen so why this reaction need to occur what is the need of this reaction because in nature nothing happens without a reason this reaction happens because hydrogen peroxide must be converted to non toxic form this hydrogen peroxide is produced in our body as a result of oxygenic environment of our body but this hydrogen peroxide is a toxic compound because it may cause mutation in our genetic material that is dna so this has to be converted to a non toxic form that is water and oxygen hydrogen peroxide on reduction produces water and oxygen reduction needs electron because reduction is the gain of electrons that electron is provided by the fe3 plus ion present in the eme group this fe3 plus ion loses an electron and forms fe4 plus ion and becomes oxidized and this electron produced as a result of oxidation of fe3 plus ion reduces the hydrogen peroxide and forms water and oxygen which is non toxic and next we have the coenzymes what is a coenzyme a coenzyme is also an organic cofactor but the difference between the cofactor and coenzyme is the interaction or combination of apoenzyme and coenzyme is very short lived and it will easily break down so if you see the example of coenzyme is in ad that is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide you can find this nad in all the biological mechanisms of respiration for example glycolysis oxidative decarboxylation and even in krebs cycle here we have taken the example of oxidative decarboxylation in this reaction pyruvic acid is converted to acetyl coa in the presence of pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme and this enzyme requires nad as a coenzyme for proc for functioning when pyruvic acid is converted to acetyl coa it produces two electrons this two electrons is accepted by the nad and it is reduced to nadh because reduction is nothing but the gain of electrons and this nadh is reformed that is it is regenerated when the nadh moves to the electron transport train 
loses the electron acquired from this reaction and again forms NAD. So this is a cyclic reaction. We have already told that the interaction between the APO enzyme and the coenzyme is short lived which is shown clearly in this example. Now let us discuss about the inorganic cofactors that is the metal ions. Here we have the example of Mg2+. Before discussing about the example, we must know how the metal ions, that is the inorganic cofactors act. This inorganic cofactor forms a coordinate covalent bond with the side chains present near the active site of the enzyme and forms an another coordinate covalent bond with the substrate molecule. So what is a coordinate covalent bond? A coordinate covalent bond is a bond formed as a result of sharing of electrons from the donor atom to the acceptor atom. Here donor atom is a nucleophile or Lewis base and the acceptor atom is an electrophile or Lewis acid. So this is a coordinate covalent bond and this metal ion forms a coordinate covalent bond with both side chain of the enzyme and the substrate molecule and helps in the proper functioning of the particular enzyme. Here we have the example of Mg2 plus which acts as a cofactor for the enzyme exokinase and helps in the conversion of glucose to glucose 6 phosphate. This Mg2 plus is a very important cofactor because if this process is not happening properly then the human life cannot exist because the important form of our energy source is glucose and the glucose must be first phosphorylated to glucose 6 phosphate then only it can be converted to further compounds required for our respiration. So that's all about the cofactors and type of the cofactors. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to get notified to our video. That's all for today's video. See you later.